Hello, my name is Dr. Jean Dodds, and I'm going to tell you today about Nutriscan, a novel test using saliva from dogs to see whether they have food sensitivities or intolerance. For example, is your dog itchy? Does your dog have a leaky gut or irregular gastrointestinal tract movements? If so, it might be caused by a sensitivity to food or a food intolerance. The test is patented and it's based on taking saliva and seeing whether the dog has antibodies to IgA, immunoglobulin A, your secretory immunity, or IgM, immunoglobulin M, your primary immunity. And if those are present, your animal will have a sensitivity to the foods that are identified by this test as being positive. We're going to show you now how Atlas allows us to collect his saliva. It's a very simple method. So we put the dental rope in the corner of the dog's mouth, we close the mouth, and the dog can either chew if he, he or she wants to, or can just let the saliva collect on the cotton rope in the mouth. And if the dog doesn't want to be cooperative, you can always take a piece of something really tasty and put it above the dog's nose, but do not let the dog eat it, so that that will encourage salivation. Like something that the dog would think would be just yummy would be perfect. We do this for about two minutes. And then once the saliva has been collected and the, the end of the rope is wet, we take it out of the mouth. We put it into this double sleeve tube that's in the kit and then we cut the top and the wet part of the rope is in the inner tube and then we put the cap on, we tape it and there's a special label that goes on the side of the tube with the pet's name and the pet owner's name. And then it's sent to us, uh, it has to arrive within 30 days to the laboratory for testing. So if the animal has been proven to have a food sensitivity or intolerance, that would be because there's itching and chronic gastrointestinal disease that is likely caused by something reacting in the foods, or because the animal has been given a food elimination trial and a veterinarian has chosen specific foods to feed for six or eight weeks to see if that relieves the clinical symptoms. If that's the case, it's a proven case that is based on a food elimination trial. And the final test is an intestinal biopsy, where we actually take pieces of the bowel and look at it, looking for changes in them that are typical of a food reaction. The foods that are included in these panels are listed on our website, www.nutriscan.org.